I can add up to the faces here. I can add counter. I can change the description like Hello everybody, this is Payan. Welcome to Undesign channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create face file component. And without further ado, let's just go ahead and create it. I'm going to make sure it's going to be a quick one because otherwise it's going to get boring. So I'm going to find my avatar that I created that I already created in another video. Please make sure to check that out at the end of the video. I have the link down in the description also for the playlist on how you can create a complete design system from scratch. Anyhow, enough of the talking, let's go ahead and create our face pile. And uh, the first thing I'm gonna create is actually the smallest one, it, it, which is the extra small. So I first, I'm gonna change the avatar type to illustration, like so. Then um, I'm gonna duplicate it, like so. And what I'm gonna do is um, select both of them and create an auto layout out of them with shift a like that here unfortunately um, i need to set a negative gap uh, i say this unfortunately because it's not ideal to use negative uh, numbers in uh, in the design but sometimes you just have to and make sure you can also add it to your variables if you're gonna need it in future but i'm gonna add that to my variables in another video and show you how it can work okay i'm gonna set negative eight something like that i'm gonna create a component out of this one and call it face pile the reason we set the negative value is that we want to use the good features of auto layout um, because you can basically align them without auto layout but that's not ideal because um yeah for the responsiveness is it's gonna get super messy so make sure to always use auto layout like in any way you can and then um let's go ahead and create another property actually our first property sorry it's gonna be label and the default value for this is gonna be false by the way, let's let me increase the size of this a little bit. Let's select both of these and add some borders to them, like so. And what I'm going to do is add another property, which is going to be the number of faces that's going to be on that face pile. It's going to by default it's going to be one. And now I'm just going to duplicate this couple of more times this is gonna be two and this is gonna be three so on and so forth so I'm gonna have five items here all right for the first one I'm gonna delete this for the second one that's okay for the third one I'm gonna add another one for the fourth one add two and for the last one, add three. Like so. Now let's go ahead and create, uh, change the illustrations. So I'm gonna change this one to another character. I'm gonna change these two, like so. And maybe something like this. And now the last one, which is gonna be like this. All right, that's okay for me. You can basically edit it however you want. I'm just gonna go with this one. And now what, what I can do is basically add that label. So in order to add that label, I need to create another property and call it, um, actually it's gonna be, sorry, it's gonna be a text property. It's gonna be a label and the value is gonna be like plus five other people follow this user, something like that. Then I'm gonna select these and duplicate it like so. All right, I'm gonna set the, we don't need the number because they already have the numbers. We're gonna, I'm gonna change the label to true 
And now let's go and type that, type of text. And then I'm gonna cut it and paste it here. And also remember, because we don't need the negative margin anymore here for the first one, actually, let's not delete that. Actually, let's create another um, auto layout out of this one, like so. And um, basically, I want to change, I'm going to set the value here to negative 8 because I want the a face pile to have a, another component and I'm gonna set it here I want to show you how it works in a bit but uh, let's set the variable to 6 make sure it's aligned to the center and as you can see um, we have added text to our first one let's go ahead actually it's too thick let's change it to um, body 10 also let's connect it to our sorry let's connect it from here to the label all right now I need to adjust these accordingly so maybe I can set them apart a little bit more then we can align it all right now I'm just gonna copy this one and paste it here so what I can do basically as you saw I'm gonna make sure these two are auto layout but when I'm gonna add another text I'm gonna change the auto layout for the whole component here so you know um, I need to show this to you so you can understand like how um, you can modify your components using auto layout in a good way so let's go ahead and uh, select these two. I'm going to hit Shift A to create another um, auto layout. And as you can see, the, the, the value got reset. And then we're going to set the value here to minus 8. And now this is an auto layout inside of this component that we can add more items to it. So let's go ahead and change this variable to 6, the same as this one, as you saw. And then what I'm going to do, I have this one copied, I hit Command C, and I select this one and hit Command V, something like that. And then you can align it easily. All right, then I'm going to add all of these the same as this one to the th 3, 4, and 5. And I'm going to also add the sizes and anything that ne that's needed. Basically, the, the, the process is pretty straightforward. And I'm going to pause the video here, and I'm going to see you... Um, in a bit all right now I have added all the variants that I need figured we don't need the large and extra large for now if you want you can add them but I'm gonna go with extra small small and medium and the reason I named like them because they're basically the same as the uh, name I used for the um, avatar all right let's go ahead and test it out so I'm gonna hit shift I and find um, face file on my components Oops, face file. Why does it reset? Face. Face. All right. Now let's go ahead and test it out. I'm going to add a label easily. I can add up to the faces here. I can add counter. I can change the description like other people follow this user like that I can bump up the numbers again like so up to five I can remove the counter and add the counter here like plus five people five other people like so and I can also remove the label yep that's how you can create a face pile and add it to your design system um, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any other videos. Also hit the bell notification to get notified each time I upload. I usually have daily uploads, so make sure to follow them, please. Leave a like, let me know what you think on the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next one. Again, thanks for, for, for watching this video, and I'll see you 
in the next one. Cheers.